Good morning, Sri Lanka. Welcome to a brand new Tuesday morning. It's a new show. It's a new day, and I hope you're not taking this morning for granted. This morning, we are talking about innovation in two different aspects. And uh, to initiate the show, uh, me and Amaya, we have very special two guests right here with us. And Amaya is with me right here. Good morning, Amaya. Good morning, Anupama. You are absolutely right. It's going to be all about innovation today on Good Morning Sri Lanka and an institute that takes uh, the lead when it comes to things like initiating this sort of uh, discussion mm -hmm. in uh, fields of this type yeah. is the Institute of Chartered Accountants of Sri Lanka and they will be holding their 34th national conference at the Water's Edge Batramulla that's happening from the 24th of October to the 26th and with us now we have two gentlemen to speak about this particular conference and yes. the importance of highlighting this particular theme and with me I have Mr. Lasanta Vikramasinghe who is the chairman of the National Conference Committee for 2013. Yes. Good morning sir, Good morning. welcome to the show. Thank you. And I also have Mr. Dulita Pereira who is the chairman of the National Conference Technical Committee. So very good morning to both of you and welcome good to Good Morning, good morning, morning. Sri Lanka. <laughs> How are you feeling this morning sir? Very good. Very good. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So before we go into what this year's conference is all about, let's speak about uh, the Institute of Chartered Accountants of Sri Lanka and uh, sort of the background of this particular institution. Yeah. The Institute of Chartered Accountants of Sri Lanka has been established in 1959 mm -hmm. uh, under the Act of Parliament mm -hmm. and uh, it's almost uh, 54 years old and <laughs> we have... Uh, more than 5,000 members currently and the student base around 41,000 wow. and the institute is uh, rest with the sole authority of promulgating accounting and auditing standards to Sri Lanka mm -hmm. uh, which are mostly in line with uh, any other international uh, accounting standard. Okay. These are compliance with IFRSs. Uh, and also now I guess the mandate has shifted on to sort of educating the corporates and the people who are members of your institute as well as the non-members and that's especially what this conference is about, right? Yes, and yes. we have selected uh, this year the theme as Innovate to Grow, mm -hmm. which is timely we thought. Okay. Last year we had the winning country corporate citizen, the theme, so this year we thought of we'll have the uh, uh, innovate to grow mm. for a sustainable uh, uh, development in the economy. Mm -hmm. Innovation, we thought, is a must. Of course. And that is the step way forward for any country, isn't it, Anupama? Yes, it definitely is. I was wondering when you said that uh, this uh, particular institute was uh, was initiated in 1959. Yeah. What do you think, as uh, what do you think in your personal opinion and as you uh, professionally, what do you think so far about the growth of the institution? Um, we had a we have a steady, uh, a very uh, healthy growth. Okay. Mm -hmm. I would say, <laughs> and. Uh, the number of members are growing rapidly mm -hmm. and uh, we cater to the industry, the government and uh, uniqueness is that we, our mem out of our members, I think one third is residing abroad okay. and they are serving to the whole uh, entire world. So, so Sri Lankan talent has now been exported I guess and yeah. they are making the entire country proud abroad as well. Yeah. And I'm sure the institute plays a big role in this, but let's talk about this particular conference. Now, Innovate to Grow, as you mentioned, the timeliness of the theme comes into play here, but what do you think is the importance of addressing this topic at this moment, Pilita? Yeah, uh, actually, uh, innovation is inevitable for companies mm -hmm. to grow. Uh, in the growth formula, without innovation, companies cannot uh, create a competitive advantage. Mm. Of course. So, as a seed being innovation, the companies need to look at ways and means by which they innovate for them to gain that competitive advantage and thereby the growth for that organization. So, mm -hmm. it is important from the company's perspective, which is at a corporate level, and then for the corporate to prosper and grow, mm -hmm. you also need to work at an individual level, right. okay. at a citizen level. Mm -hmm. They need to have that amount of talent 
that an amount of um, courage and the necessary skill for them to innovate. And then they also need to have a good environment in which their ideas and thinking out of the box can really work and then finally uh, make it successful of for course. it to be a marketable product or a service. Mm -hmm. So it is in this context that we thought the accountants need to be well equipped with what is happening around the world for them to be able to support this process of innovation True. because okay. the accountants play a vital role mm -hmm. in the companies and in the boardrooms. In the current context you see quite a few of the accountants taking the leading roles in companies mm -hmm. like the chief executive officer's position and they are being consulted by the boards for various crucial financial mm -hmm as well as non-financial decisions. Mm -hmm. So unless these accountants are equipped with the right knowledge and what is happening around the world on innovation, we felt we have a gap and we wanted to bridge that gap through this process of continuous professional development. So okay. to fulfill that we have a eminent uh, panel of speakers mm. and panelists to come and talk about this topic in a way to go. We can talk a lot on the respective sessions as we progress. Yes. Of course, and these are some very interesting sessions and I think when, when we do introduce to you what the sessions are, you will see that they have been chosen with a lot of care as to this mm. particular field of innovation. But before we go into that, I think we need to know something about uh, the registration process of course, as yes. well as ha the how participants, yeah. how can, par how can someone yeah. participate? Uh, we have the physical participation registrations. Uh, I think for the first time we had to close the uh, physical registration well in advance. Last oh, yes. Monday yeah. we, need, we had to close the registration yeah. because uh, we have passed 1,180. Mm. And... Uh, to cater to the needs of our members who are residing locally and uh, out of the country, mm -hmm. we have uh, we are webcasting the whole sessions lively, and then uh, we have there 80 uh, registrants up to in the today in the morning. Wow. So oh, okay. And you are focusing on 200 participants uh, via the webcast. Yes, I yes, that is our target. All right. Hope that we can achieve that. So the webcast was something that was introduced, now this is the 34th conference, but the webcast was something that was introduced quite recently, wasn't it? Yeah. It was last year, I think. Right? Yes, so that we year. took the initiative uh, to uh, introduce the webcast last uh, mm -hmm. conference mm -hmm. okay. for the first time, I think, in the country. And like Mr. So the Pera mentioned, this was the uh, first time that Sri Lankan, a Sri Lankan conference uh, had the privilege of having a webcast Absolutely. Um, yes. in a live uh, conference. Yeah. So. I see. So again, innovation happening there <laughs> as well, yes. isn't it? Yes. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> All right. So, um, if someone would like to uh, now, as if you the physical registrations are closed, so yeah. but if someone would like to take part through uh, the webcast, how can they go about doing that? Uh, they just have to uh, log into the institute uh, website. website. Okay. Mm -hmm. There, the path is given. So basically, through uh, credit card, they can register. Right. online so it's not only members is it yes it's it is open for entire world i see so then you have a very special chief guest who is oh, yes. flying in for this event as well so yes. let's speak about some of the names and the faces that you'll be able to see and hear this event mm -hmm. yeah uh, we have the chief guest as mr rc bargava mm -hmm. chairman of uh, maritu suzuki india limited I see. Very oh. respected uh, Very business yeah. personality mm -hmm. in India, mm -hmm. and uh, he's the current chairman of uh, Marty Suzuki and uh, few other companies as well. And he had been serving in the government of India as a secretary to the agricultural ministry, and uh, over maybe 20, 30 years government uh, servant as well. Mm -hmm. uh, and he, I'm and sure he had a wealth of experience to the share. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Definitely. Yes. And uh, would you like to tell us uh, about a few uh, party, uh, about a few panelists? 
and the very uh, interesting speakers that we were speaking about before. Um, yeah. Very, uh, what do you call it, Prenom -prenom prominent uh, people who are in, the, in different industries in Sri Lanka and uh, as well as uh, places like Singapore. Um, why don't you tell us a few uh, details about who would the participants see in this conference as speakers? Yeah, we have the, uh, uh, as the keynote speaker, we have Honorable Ruth Richardson, uh, former finance minister of New Zealand mm -hmm. coming in. She has a uh, wide experience uh, in uh, drafting Companies Act and various uh, economic reforms in uh, in certain certain countries and uh, and about the speakers i think dulita is the better person to uh, describe yes Mr. right thank you um, so the sessions we we have a one and a half day long technical sessions mm -hmm. after the ceremonial inauguration which will take place on the 24th All right. um, the technical sessions are going to run over a period of one and a half days. The first day we'll have four sessions. Okay. Uh, those sessions are going to be innovation in action, which is the innovation aspect of the manufacturing sector. How the manufacturing companies are innova innovating mm -hmm. and what are the processes they have in place in order to innovate and um, the changes that are taking place in that uh, sphere. Uh, we have Rohan Pallavatta uh, uh, being the speaker of that session, mm -hmm. flanked by the two panelists, B.R.L. Fernando, and we will have uh, Professor Ajit uh, Dialvis okay. uh, coming from uh, Professor Ajit Dialvis. From uh, Professor Ajit Dialvis, he's. Uh, Mm -hmm. uh, from the University of Moratua. Yes. I think I should interrupt you there because we have to go for a very short break, but right after the break we'll be back with the details about the rest of the sessions. Yes, right, we will. <laughs> sure. All right.